Hey, it's Mark Shepard, and it is 6 a.m. It's time for the Sunday message. Every Sunday, I try to gather my thoughts and my emotions around what's been going on here at Healing Pastures, which is a farm, but it's also something else. It is a place and a process and a gathering of people, most of whom wouldn't be caught dead in a church, but who are recognizing that there is something greater beyond us, something that is so amazing that it elicits the desire down on your knees and give thanks to worship this amazing thing called the world, life, the universe, whatever it is. And we're such tiny little parts of it. And yet it is amazing and beautiful. So what happens is I turn the camera on and I start talking and I have no idea what's going to come out. So that's, What's gonna happen? I'm at the bridge, so let me capture the level of the water and then we'll continue. Try to find a place out of the wind, but this, this, my friend, this is what, this is what we have been waiting for. It's a foot, about a foot high. There's, there's my boot. I wanted to contrast this with the times I've walked this in the winter. So you can see. We moved this way. Now they're way over there.
So, this week, last Sunday, it was pouring rain. And I think we're expecting some rain again today, but throughout the week, I've been moving the dogs and the sheep um, pretty much every other day. And in the, in the process of the week, I spent some time with my friends Gary and Stephanie. And uh, Gary has so much knowledge and he has all these greenhouses and and he's crazy like he's crazy in a good way and so I spent a little time with them I think it was Wednesday evening and I got some great footage of just the vanishing point of some of their greenhouses just as I was walking down they, you know, the greenhouses are full at this point. Things are starting to bloom. It is the key pivotal moment in their season. And it's just, you know, color is exploding. And to me, those greenhouses are like cathedrals. They're like churches of, churches of growing things like I don't know how to describe it so the song crazy by Gnarls Barkley kept running through my head I remember when I remember when I remember when I lost my mind there's something so pleasant about that place just that just kept running through my head even your emotions have an echo in so much space maybe I'm crazy maybe I'm crazy probably and so I, I just had this idea. Here comes the raven. Hi, raven. <laughs> I had this idea that, man, it would be really nice to sing that song. Now, I don't do a lot of cover songs. So Thursday morning, I just, I stole some time from all the other things that I would need to do. Stole some time. And... I managed to do, I think, six takes of it. And the six take, it's not, it's not where I want it to be because I really need to practice it a lot more. But I got something, right? I got a take. And so I put it with some of the footage. And I want to share that with you. But I want to, I want to share it with you as part of today's message. And that is the things that we do that other people think are crazy might be the sanest thing in the world. Or they might, literally, legitimately might be crazy. Joel Salatin, who is one of my, uh, one of my prophets, the prophet Joel, I call him, he calls himself a lunatic farmer. Precisely, he calls himself a Christian libertarian lunatic farmer. <laughs> and the idea that we're doing something that not everybody does. I mean, it's crazy to be doing what I'm doing because you can just go to the grocery store. You can just go to the grocery store and buy buy a steak, buy pork, buy lamb. But the reality is there's a reason we are crazy. There's an old old story from I think I think it's from the Talmud. Don't quote me on this, but it's it's from the an ancient Jewish storytelling tradition. And there was a man who saw written on the heavens the prophecy that on a certain date, the water... That's a raven. They have a nest behind me. On a certain date, the water would change and, and it would make everybody insane. So this man who lived in the mountains created a reservoir in a cave and he gathered water and he made sure it was covered and had no contact with the outside air. And on the day of the prophecy, on the day of the prophecy, if I'm bothering her, I'll, I'll move, but on the day of the prophecy, it happened as the prophecy foretold and all the water in the entire country 
changed and everybody became crazy. It just became insane. And so the man lived up on the mountain, up on the hill, and he could see things were going strangely. And after a while, down below. And after a while, sorry, it's early. <laughs> after a while, he got lonely. And he went down to the town, taking his own water with him, and he saw that everybody was insane. So he went back up to the mountain. He lived there for a while, but eventually he could not... He could not handle the aloneness. And so he decided to just drink their water. And he went back down, down to the town, down to the land below the mountain and drank their water. And from that point forward, people would always refer to him as the man who used to be crazy. That story helps me sometimes. Sometimes it, it doesn't. <laughs> but today, I want to share with you a little bit of the craziness. The craziness of somebody like myself <laughs> who is just driven by this call. I have been called all my life to be a minister, to, to use my music in some positive way, not as an entertainer, but as a healer, as someone who's been given a gift, and I want to give it. It's a gift that I want to share. But it has to be shared appropriately, in the right context. And the right context is a spiritual context. But whenever I tried to share my music in a Christian context, I got a lot of, it's not really that Christian. You know, it's not kind of Christian enough, you know? And it just felt most of my life like it was too something. It was too folk, too rock, you know? Too rock for the folkies, too folk for the rockers too articulate for people that don't want to think too much. I don't know. But this song, the lyrics of this song, to me, just nail it. They just nail it. And I hope you'll listen. I hope you'll accept this song as a prayer and lift it up wherever you are and celebrate the things about you that are crazy. The things about you that nobody gets. The things about you that you sometimes maybe just keep to yourself because people don't, people don't get it. Maybe you, you can't handle the judgment sometimes. But from this point, from this quiet place here, the last day of April, 2023, April 30th, <clears throat> find a place maybe today where you can listen to the wind in the pines and send your prayers out like a broadcast tower out into the world and receive back the love that the world offers us every day. We don't understand God's creation. We don't understand things and from our puny human perspective, there are things maybe we would do differently. Like, why do, why do creatures eat other creatures? Mm, a topic for another day. But there is life bursting forth all around us. These ravens behind me have been building a nest all winter. I've seen them. Sending out prayers to you, my friend. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Healing pastors as a church is just beginning. But people are becoming aware that there is another way to be spiritual. You don't have to join a weird cult. You don't have to believe stuff 
that seems ridiculous just because somebody believed it 2000 years ago, you can create in your heart an open space for the holy, for the sacred to enter and let them call us crazy. Here's a song. Thanks again to Gary and Stephanie for their encouragement and their support and their willingness to become members of this crazy thing called Healing Pastors. And I send out my love to you, my friend. Thank you. Peace, love, grooviness. Amen. Yeah. Tomato planting 101. So what are you doing? Pulling all the leaves off that we don't need on that tomato plant. If you look at the stem, it has little white hairs on it all the way to there. Those are all roots waiting to happen. Okay. If you want a good tomato plant, you don't want this little piece of the root system. You want roots the whole way. Take the tomato plant, you fold it in half, bury it as deep as you can, grab your leaves, hold them dead center, fill your pot full of dirt, keep going around, packing it nicely, holding on to the center, fill it in. Voila, you've got the perfect tomato plant. And after it's done, you should be able to stack them without hurting them. Okay. I remember when, I remember when, I remember when I lost my mind There's something so pleasant about that place Even your emotions had an echo in so much space, so much space When you're out there without a care, I was out of touch But it wasn't because I didn't know enough
it's amazing. So anyway, I'm back home. Thanks for listening to the song. And if you appreciate what I'm doing, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And if you are interested in some of our pastured pork, beef, or lamb, I will be coming to Albany on the first weekend of May, which is May 5th is the Friday. I'll be coming down Friday, Saturday, the 6th and Sunday the 7th I will be at Unity Church with my friend Joy Adler and Brian Mellick who is one of the best drummers I've ever ever played with and the Unity Church music team we're gonna make some music it's gonna be amazing I hope I hope if you're in the Albany area you will join us for that if you are interested in meat please basically just hit reply to my email or Use the link on the website, healingpastors.org. And on the website, there is a list of everything we have in our inventory. It's not very organized yet. I apologize for that, but pretty much just scroll down and you can see what we have and how much we have of each thing. And then just let me know with a contact form or an email what you want. You can also text me or call me. And I appreciate you so much. Hopefully it's not too windy here to get this message out, but it's a beautiful day. We'll probably get some more rain, but it's okay because May is tomorrow. Spring has happened. We've had the shift. Transformation is upon us, people. Allow yourself to be transformed in whatever way you are being most called to transform. Peace, love, grooviness. I'll talk to you next week. Over and out. Amen. Boom. I'll feed you in a minute. <laughs> okay. Have you been enjoying the rainy day? How's my girls? How's my big girl? Oh, Rob's. girls doing? What are you doing? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's my girl. That's my big girl. Having a good day? Having a good piggy day? Is everybody ready? Everybody ready? Here we go. Come on through. Come on through. Go on. It's all good. You can do it. And just like that, they have been moved. And now they have fresh grass. So now they were here two days and we've had rain and it's been a little cool. So there's not so much of a difference between where they were and their new spot but they're happy to move and this is a oh i see a big gap that i gotta go fill gotta go <laughs>